Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisun. So today we'll be looking at the anterior compartment of the thigh. So this whole area is the thigh and this is the anterior compartment of the thigh. So the thigh is the area of the lower limb that extends from the hip joint down to the knee joint. The same from the hip joint down to the knee joint. So we'll be looking or we'll be seeing the muscles that are found in the thigh, in the anterior thigh rather, which includes the sartorius muscle, the quadriceps femoris muscle, the pectineus muscle, the suhas muscle, and the iliacus. The suhas and the iliacus. So, these are the five muscles in the anterior thigh. Although the quadricep femoris, quadricep means it has about four muscles under it. The quadricep femoris has about four muscles under it, which includes the rectus femoris, the vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and vastus lateralis. So, that is it. But before we go over to the muscles in the thigh, let's first of all see the deep fascia of the thigh is known as the fascia lata. So this, this is what the deep fascia of the thigh looks like and it is known as the fascia lata. So it is continuous with this long band here which is known as the iliotibia tract. So, this long band here, which is continuous with the deep fascia of the anterior thigh, is known as the iliotibia tract. So, this is the iliotibia tract. Having said that, let's go over to, to the muscles of the anterior thigh. So, this is the iliotibia tract. Then the first muscle we have here is this long muscle. It is called the sartorius muscle. The sartorius muscle. It is also referred to as the pelor muscle because it helps when pelor so clothes. It is the muscle that is in action. So this is the sartorius muscle and it is referred to as the longest muscle in the in the body. Then having said that the sartorius muscle originates from the anterior superior iliac spine. It originates from the anterior superior iliac spine and it runs downward and in an oblique manner. You can see the oblique manner it runs downward and inserts at the superior part of the media tibia. It inserts at the superior part of the media tibia or it inserts at the hairs and scenarios of the tibia. So this is the sartorius muscle. Then the second muscle we have here is this muscle called the quadricep femoris. You can see it is not just one muscle. There are four muscles coming together to form the quadricep femoris. So this is the quadricep femoris. Then this one on top, which is one of the quadricep femoris muscle, is known as the rectus femoris. So this is known as the rectus femoris and it is known as the kicking muscle which footballers use to kick. So this is the rectus femoris and it originates as you can see it originates from the anterior inferior iliac spine and it runs downward. So it originates from the anterior inferior iliac spine and run downward. Then the second muscle here, when you remove this, 
is this small zoo here. This small zoo here. This small zoo is referred to as the vastus intermedius. The vastus intermedius. So the vastus intermedius originates from the anterior shaft of the uh, femur. It originates on the anterior shaft of the femur and runs down. Then we have the one by the medial side. We have this one by the medial side. You can see it. So this muscle by the medial side is known as the vastus medialis. The vastus medialis. And we also have the one on the lateral side. The vastus lateralis. So both the vastus medialis and the vastus lateralis they originate from the posterior part of the femur. They originate from the linear aspera of the posterior part of the femur. And together all these muscles run downward to first insert at the base of the patella. To first insert at the base of the patella here, then, but this is not just their only insertion. They form a tendon. They form a tendon. As they insert at the base of the patella, they form a tendon, which covers the patella, and the tendon come to insert at the tibia. The tendon come to insert at the tibia. So, the tendon it forms it co is called the patella tendon. So you can see the patella tendon. Then it finally inserts at the anterior tibia. This is where it inserts finally at the anterior tibia. Although each and every one of them have their individual insertion at the patella, but they unite together to form a tendon, which is called the patella tendon. And finally insert at the anterior tibia. So that is it for the second muscle, which is the quadricep femoris. Then the third muscle we have in the anterior thigh is this muscle, this muscle here. So this muscle here is known as the pectineus. This is known as the pectineus. And the pectineus muscle lie just under the adductor longus. This is the adductor longus. So it lies just under the adductor longus muscle. So this is the pectineus muscle. It originates from the pectineal line in the pubic bone and insert in the pectineal line of the posterior femur. So that is it for the pectineal muscle. Then the next muscle we have here is this muscle here. This is the psoas muscle. This is the psoas muscle. So this muscle originates from the lumbar vertebrae. It originates from the lumbar vertebrae. Then, this is the iliacus muscle. The iliacus muscle originates in the iliac fossa of the pubic bone. The psoas muscle and the iliacus together, or they move together to insert at the lesser trochanter of the femur. To so insert at the lesser trochanter of the femur. So before we conclude, let me do a recap of what we've done so far. I said that this is the thigh, anterior thigh. This is the anterior thigh. And this is the iliotibia tract. And the iliotibia tract is continuous with the Facial lata. You can see the facial lata or the deep fascia of the 
that covers the thigh. So this is the iliotibia tract. Then I told us that we have the sartorius muscle, which is referred to as the telo muscle. We have the quadricep femoris muscle. This is the rectus femoris, one of the muscles in the quadricep femoris. This is the vastus medialis. This is the vastus lateralis. And this is the vastus intermedius. Together, these four muscles insert at the base of the patella. Then they form the patella tendon. The tendon they gave is called the patella tendon. And the patella tendon move to the anterior tibia to insert there. And I said that in as much as they join together to form the patella tendon, that they also have their individual uh, insertion in the patella. Then I showed us the, the pectineus muscle. So this muscle here is the pectineus muscle. This is the pectineus. Then the next muscle is the the psoas muscle which i showed us here then and the idiacus so we've come to the end of this teaching i will encourage us to like this video share this video to your friends comment on this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel thank you very much